Okay, let's start Process Explorer. At first, you can see that not many columns are actually shown for all the different processes. So you can add them manually. For instance, adding the username, the protection, integrity level, session. The next thing you want to do is to actually show the lower panel. So for instance, we can see some processes are running on the system in session zero. They are system services. All the processes are running with our IE user in session one. For instance, CMD here is running in session one with medium integrity. Firefox is running as medium for the main process. And then renderer processes are running and they're low integrity level because they are running in the sandbox. Now let's look at the different thread for that particular Firefox process. We can see it has lots of threads. If we look at the Elsass one, we can see where they were started. Now let's look at the different objects that are opened and the handles. If you go in view, lower pane view, you can select either the DLLs or handles. The DLLs will show the loaded DLLs in that particular process. So you want to select handles. Here you can select additional columns as well. You see the handle value or the mask. So we can see Elsass has lots of different objects being opened. We have events, directory, files, keys, which are the registry keys, processes, mutants, tokens. <laughs> 